So, Mr. Shulsky. First of all, the WAS won't mess around here anymore. Did you send them to hell where they belong? They ask for it. Right. Better not mess with magicians, huh? They won't be running rampant here anymore. But now that it's all over, would you be so kind as to make a donation? For the cemetery, of course. And to make sure important notices reach you as quickly in the future. I'll be gracious. Please write a letter to my sister. She'll send you a check. Thank you for looking kindly on an honest man. If you do expire someday, I'll get you the most exquisite hearse. God bless, Mr. Shulsky. I haven't been here in a while. What do you want to tell me, friend? I'll be first, you'll see! Slow down, you'll get your clothes all dirty. That kid, it's... Me. My mother thought I'd lost my mind. So did Liga, I guess. And that, as we know, didn't happen until much later. I didn't remember that Abaurizia was there, too. He must have been. After all, he'd laughed at me later for wetting my pants. It was my birthday. Was it then that you chose me? What do you want to tell me, friend? Victor, hurry! We'll be late for mass. I'm coming, mother. Victor, do you think that when you have a husband, you have to argue with him? I suppose so. I don't want a husband. You don't have to get one, but I'm worse off. Grazinka says that when I grow up, she'll find me a husband. I remember that. The last Sunday before Father stopped taking us to church. Because of me. I accidentally touched the priest's stone as he passed us with a sensor. That was the first time I felt another person's thoughts. 
their intentions. I heard the words of someone's confession that the priest was thinking about. It was like they were directed at me. And I didn't fall to the shadow of the rest of the congregation. Mother didn't manage to stop me, and my indiscretion caused the prominent marriage to fall apart. My parents' marriage not long after. What do you want to tell me, friend? You'll put me in an early grave. Duh, because it's always the woman's fault when a man starts getting certain notions. I'm the head of this family and I deserve respect. Father, can Abaurezi come with us to the sea? Out of the question. Holidays are to be spent with family, with loved ones, not with servants. Listen, boy. You'll be the head of this family someday, and you have to understand that family is the one thing you can always rely on. Especially since you're a Tempermancer. Others will rob you, kill you, or even worse, ruin you. You should keep your friends close, but never behind your back. And your enemies you should keep even closer, next to your heart, because only then will they not surprise you. Rarely did I see my father so furious. He thought that a trip to the once Polish Baltic Sea would improve his chilly relations with mother. I really didn't want to go. I preferred to play with Abaurice in the streets of Praga. Mom wasn't disappointed that we stayed either. I didn't want to step on father's toes again, so I asked Ligia to make a scene, like she did when Grazinka tried sending her to bed and she wanted to keep reading. I didn't even have to persuade her much. I wondered if it was the power of the twin bond or if I manipulated her subconsciously back then. Now I know I couldn't do it without forming our pact. But if that's the case, what were you doing here? Nice rugs. They smell like downtown. What are you sniffing around here for, Outlander? You'd better not get in my way when I'm working. And what does a whelp like your double head? Maybe he's the murderer. The young master was bored and came to Povista for a taste of gore. He'll taste it all right. His own.
Any fish biting? It doesn't matter. What do you want? My name is Victor. I only wanted to ask what was going on here. With those damn police? They are trying to catch the fisherman. And the fisherman is doing his bit. Is it bad that they're doing their job? And what for? Did anybody call them? Anybody complain? What do you think? Murder doesn't bother anyone? Like there are never any murders in Povishila. Big deal. The river giveth and the river taketh away. We'll do fine. We don't need the police here. Who's the fisherman? The one who left the body on the beach. Stark naked, with pebbles in place of eyes, and a hook stuck in the roof of the mouth. Like a fish. That's what he always does. The police call him a serial killer. A dozen people he's snuffed out like that already. This son of a gun. You sound like it doesn't bother you too much. And what should it bother me for? If he kills, he kills. We are not to judge if that's good or bad. The river giveth, 
Then the river take us away. Yep. And he can't catch the fisherman even though he continues to kill. Is that right? He's smart. Shrewd. Not like those police fools. And everyone knows who he is. How so? Because. You see that guy on the beach who set up his easels in the sand and is painting? He's the fisherman. He paints all those bodies. He's always around the new ones. They even raided that hovel of his. Right, Edek? Yep. And yet, he is still at large and keeps painting. So maybe he's not the fisherman after all. Sure he is. Everyone says it's him. He's a weirdo, living like a hermit in that hovel. Nothing holds any value for him. So maybe he takes people's lives just for the hell of it. Yep. And where is that hovel? Go along the river and behind the workshop. Am I right, Eric? Yep. Thank you, gentlemen. Happy fishing. Yeah, right. Hey, you can't be here. Uh, Kayetan doesn't allow it. I don't like you, Sonny. He's got nice shoes, though. Let's get this over with.
Is the painting finished? Nope. The police took the body before I could finish. But I'm sure something new will appear soon. Can I ask you a question? Whatever. I think painting those bodies has become something very important to you. I hadn't thought about it that way. It seems it has given your life a new meaning. Do you really think so? Aren't you afraid you might be arrested? You're always the first one out of the body. You paint it. To me, you look like a murderer. Me? Why? The bodies appear on their own. Besides, let the police worry about that. If they catch the murderer, there will be no more dead bodies to... pose. Right. I hadn't thought about that. I don't understand! It seems that while contemplating the lack of sense in life, you did find something you care about. Right. But that doesn't make sense. Why is it that in trying to go with the flow, I end up paddling harder? Where did I go wrong? Beautiful.
It's time to free you from it. Can you hear me? Take a step back from him. What? What are you doing? They're arresting me, that's what. What are you arresting him for? Having strange interests? Have you got any proof? We are arresting the prime suspect. Do not obstruct us. Tell them what you told me. You are not the killer. What difference does it make? Pielevin, you know he's not the one. What can I do? This case is taking too long anyway. How are you going to sleep after this? I'm going to buzz it up till I fall asleep. Preferably in moonshine. And now it starts to rain. Yellow belly. <laughs> Shut up! Hey, you! What do you want here? What, what is that you're playing with? It's a hook from a real dead man. A dead man's hook. Quiet, you dogs! This hook is from the fisherman's victim, isn't it? So what if it is? What's it to you? They've already caught the murderer. What if I tell you that they didn't? That they caught the wrong man? The fuck they did! Get lost! Unless... we trade for it. Got anything interesting to barter with? And what would you like for the hook? Ah, uh, a cannon. A saber. Well, you heard him. If you bring us a cannon or a saber, we'll give you the dead man's hook. That should be doable. There were some old blunt sabers in Father's office. Go away now. You're boring. Salut. Salut. Have you heard this fancy pants? You have the makings of a good detective. I could use the help of someone as smart as you in my investigation. I... I'd like to help. That's commendable of you. Then the first step would be to give me back the hook. 
Don't give it back. Don't be a sucker. Shut it! I want to help the police with their investigation. Got it? If you got a problem with that, you can fuck right off. Here. So what now? Now I'll examine the hook and keep looking for other clues. Patrick's a lick spittle for the coppers. Shut your mouth! Or you lose even more teeth. I'll help you. Come find me near Antiaja's brothel. We can resume the investigation there. All right, enough of this. Let's leave this place. Then I tell him, stick that rubble up your ass. I've got my honor. You sure are a canny lad. Hello. I'm on my break. Come back later. I sent him, Auntie Clara. We're doing an investigation together. You're always up to something, Piotrusz. What investigation? What are we doing here? What do you mean? The aunties are the key to the world of information. They know and hear more than anyone else in Povishle. Are you his actual aunt? You really are a tourist. Of course they're not. But I prefer them to the real ones. They always help me somehow when I'm in trouble. They'll dress a wound, give me an apple, or a beer. Piotrusz, Piotrusz. Nothing gets by you. You remember that lady's gloves? I said I liked them once, and he brought them to me the next day. Well, just say the word. What do you know about the fisherman? All I know is he's in jail. Finally. This cursed place can breathe a little. He's not in jail, though. We're looking for the real one. Piotrusz, is that the investigation you're playing? What do you mean, playing? We are both dead serious and committed, Auntie. You better watch out. You'll get in trouble. I needn't have come here. It's not over yet. Now, we split. You go grill the other aunties, and I'll see you later. After dark, some of them work here, and others in the streets. Remember to tell them I sent you. Piotrek Justa, that is. And ask better questions this time. Watch him. If anything happens to him, it's your fault. Is the gent looking to forget his worries for a while? Discretion guaranteed. I haven't had an angry wife come here yet. Are you the owner of this establishment? Of course, precious. Welcome to Auntie Yaja's body house. Tell me about this place. All right, precious. Ask away. Are all the girls local? I know places like this offer lodgings to those arriving in the city in exchange for their services. 
If you're implying something precious, I can assure you that all the ladies here work of their own free will. Imagine coming here to be a cleaner or teach children, and then the only thing anyone really wants to pay you for is your ass. I'm the reason they can make a living. No offense, precious, but you have no idea what it's like. Does Piotr Kjusta live here too? That one always finds his way around. He's a nitwit. The girls like him and he likes them. As long as he knows his place, he can hang out here. Where are his parents? Who knows? He's a foundling. Let's change the subject. Finally. Shall I find you a companion? Thank you. Maybe I'll... Return later. You're blushing, precious. Well, goodbye then. Hello. I can't stand this weather. Can I help you? What are you selling? My late husband's junk. I don't need to look at all of this if I can't look at him. I'm sorry for your loss. No point brooding over it. The river giveth, and the river taketh away. I have to go now. Goodbye. Yes? Have you seen anyone suspicious here lately? Other than you? This is Powiśle. Everyone's suspicious here. I have to go now. Goodbye. Good evening. Good evening. What do you want? I bet he's a customer. Do you want to put him off? How do I know if he is a customer or not? Bad things happen in this weather. You're right. What brings you here? What do you know about the fishermen? What an odd question. Unless... God, it's him! He came to kill us! But they just got him. That freak who painted corpses was the fisherman. He created inspiration for himself. Right? Take it easy. I was sent here by Piotr Kjusta. Somehow I don't believe you. Maybe you got him too, fisherman. Piotr introduced me to Auntie Clara too. I assure you they are both alive. I just want to talk to you. Well, if you hang around with Piotr, you can be the fisherman. Especially if you are that handsome. This is Auntie Clementina, and you can call me Auntie Anastasia, like the Tsar's daughter. But we don't know anything about the fisherman, and we'd rather not talk about him. I'll be off now. Too bad. I felt safer with you around. Will you stop sneaking up on us? I'll be off now. To bed. I felt safer with you around. Good evening. Cloud behind the corner, five kopecks. Naked in a bed, fifteen. A blow will cost you three. Unless you just want to watch something, then it's two. If it's something else you're after, you can fuck off, or I'll call for help. Does it often rain here? 
It seems like a cloud burst just over Povishle as if on purpose. I guess the weather reflects the way we all feel here. Stop talking to me, the panda is getting angry. Who's a panda? Well, a whoremonger. Piotr Kjusta sent me. He's a nice kid. Piotr sent you? Well, why didn't you say so? I'll give you a discount then. No, um, that's not why I'm here. I just want to talk. Well, fire away before someone is on to us. The fisherman. Have you heard anything about him? Only the things everyone's been prattling on about. But if it's information you want, buy yourself a newspaper. Two kopejkas. Any other questions? Or should we get to the point? I'll let you get back to work. Goodbye. I want to see the painter. You must be joking. Until the fisherman's trial, not even his own mother can see him. Is there anything else? Who was the last victim? You must know the name. I do, but you don't have anything to convince me. Is there anything else? I got the hook from the victim's body. Local kids have stolen it. I already have a few of these. Because of it, I know, let's call it, the scent of the murderer. A thermotet could be useful in a case like this. But the case is closed. That's enough. When I get sober, I put you in jail, I swear. Now leave me alone. We'll see about that. I'll find out why you're so reluctant to run this investigation, and then we'll resume it together. What? You're going to cast a spell on me, magician? Who knows? Don't go anywhere. I felt something. Where is it? Do you call this a proper time for a visit? What's going on? Please let me in. It's urgent. Sir and madam are already in bed. Come back in the morning like someone respectable. Fear not. I'm here for Rasputin. I can sense he's in a drawing room. Intriguing.
Is that him? In the flesh. Allow me to introduce you. My dear hostess, Aniela Narodzinska, and my dear friend, Viktor Shulski. Your father had a beautiful funeral. Thank you. My dear, we finished for today. Now I'll find out what brings Victor to us. What brings you here? But you were the one who phoned. Very funny. Have you known them long? No, but Aniela and Lucian are my two good souls. They took me, an impoverished preacher, in under their roof. And I'll never forget that. Are you helping them too? I am a bomb for Aniela's frazzled nerves. But enough of that. Tell me what you need. Why was she looking at me so oddly? What did you tell her about me? She's never seen a thaumaturge before. I only mentioned to her how we met. Can I help you at all? You look like you've made yourself at home. Are you going to be staying on here for long? No, I'm afraid not. They're kind people, but I've experienced another vision. Though not fully terrifying, it is troubling. Will you tell me about it? Later. What brings you to me? No, I won't bother you. We can talk next time. The Narazinski door is always open to you. Hello. Indeed. Fanciable. Up close. I would even say a solid eight, wouldn't you? I don't know. We'll see when he turns around. Eight it is. Will you show us something more? May I ask what you ladies are doing? What everyone does. We're evaluating. A solid eight? You know, on a scale from one to ten, you look quite spiffy, sir. Why are you smoothing with some sucker who's already suited and booted for his own funeral? And you, lousy fop, got an itch in looking for some philandering at the marble orchard, are you? Six, five... Zero. There's nothing here for you. Mr. Eight got some you-know-what, so he caught our eye. And vice versa, I can tell. Get ready for some shellacking, lads. We got a dandy looking for some extra ventilation. And, as luck would have it, not too far from the orchard either. Sir, you have the unique opportunity of becoming a ten.
Excuse me. Damn it. I forgot to turn the key. Sorry, what? You tell me. What is it? I need some evening wear, quick. Good proportions. Thank you. Alterations won't take long. Your name and address, sir? Viktor Shulski, 9 Green Square. I'll send a messenger when I'm done. Now, I'd like to go to my business. I won't bother you. All right. Mr. Shulsky, come in. What's new? I couldn't help noticing you're struggling for inspiration. You've got a keen eye. The book makes it easier? I have to guess what everyone has in their mind. Is there any way I can help? I want to know what people look for in fashion these days. Back in the day, all you needed was two pad lags and a space for your Johnson. I don't know what else there is to it. If you tell me that, I'll be grateful. I'll sue you anything you want in return. Let me sharpen my senses. I won't bother you. All right.
Am I a magician or what? Death did not catch my father by surprise. It seems as if he had been expecting it, just not at that moment. He was practically annoyed about it. There was something he had wanted to finish. And this building, it couldn't have just fallen down like that right as he was going by. Hey, Suski! What? Chicken butt! Tie him up. There you go. Tighter. We took his book. Well done. All right. Let's wake the asshole up. Wakey, wakey. What? What's... Well, come on, Sleeping Beauty. I haven't got all day. Now. Let me get a good look at you. You look rough, fancy boy. This isn't what I was expecting. Well, what did you expect? That after years of hanging out in Parisian salons, you'd come back handsome and spruced up. How do you know about Paris? Nothing stays secret from any agents, right? Shit. Just read out my birth certificate, why don't you? Aba Uritsi Niedzic. Long time no see, Surski. What kind of a sick idea is this? Kidnapping me? It's a joke! You don't find it funny? No. What does it feel like to have your life depend on me? Not the best. Listen, I understand you hold some resentment within yourself over what happened, but I can't change the past. Well, yes. But shit! You told me to wait for help and instead the boys in blue showed up and you washed your hands of it and left my pop to rot in prison. At least admit that you acted like a dick. I admit that it was a shitty move on my father's part. Your father's? Well, look at this weasel. Straight to whitewashing the past. Like father, like son, eh? My father's karma came back to bite him. A horrible death in return for the kind of man he was. I'm sure you heard. Well, admittedly, nothing's but a spring in my step in a long while, like hearing that Shulsky met his end as sludge on the sidewalk. They say the devil doesn't take the wicked, but for your old man, he made an exception. Now that he's dead, let's put the past behind us. There'd be no reason to talk if you hadn't pinched Papa's gut back then. Victor, it kills me that we pulled the trigger together. Together! <laughs> what the fuck? Boss, it's the Cossacks again. Come here, coward. Looks like you've got a chance for redemption. You don't mess with the shivs. I'll take a look around.
you guys again. You shitheads better have a good excuse, because I was right in the middle of an incredibly important meeting. It was fate that decided. We flipped a coin, and it turns out that today, we're practicing our boxing on you. Some... Feathers? The beak? I know you. You're... I can't remember now. Fucked up, but today, you'll regret. Today I've got the Demon Master on my side. Show these cretins, Victor. Never let me down. This is the best way to start an evening, at Nyejit's bar. If we're to have fun, let's do it right. A round for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Old friendships never die, right? Here, Polish, pure, the mother of all libations. Enjoy it! Who knows what piss you've been drinking abroad. So, are we quits? I helped you out. 
Now can we forget all that ancient history? Don't be so sly, Victor. We're not squared up yet. That burns nicely. My knuckles are itching. Let's go somewhere and pick a fight. Good riddance. Well, what do you say, Victor? It seems to me there's work for me to do at your bar. No shit! I'll give you a hand. Not like that. Thaumaturgical work. It seems to me there's a salutar here. What the fuck? Who brought a demon into my joint? I'll give him... Although, hang on now. A demon is of good publicity. Hey, everybody! From this day forth, the London bar will be known as The Demon's Den! Go and tell everybody that here is the only place you can do shots in the devil's company. Listen, you keep on thinking about how you can develop your business, and I'm going to take a look around and come right back. Go! I'm going to wet my whistle and see how you do your hocus pocus. If you need something, I'm here, and I'll give you a hand. That wasn't too hard. Have you nosed around my humble little hole in the wall? What's the word? Well, well. How did you get your hands in all this? I worked my ass off for years. I found myself in shitty positions. Sometimes I had to make people disappear. Pop wouldn't have been proud of me. Maybe it's a good thing he didn't live to see it. But then, I'd have to kill you. Your father was a good man, and didn't deserve for that to happen to him. I'm sorry. That's true. 
However, we're alive. We're in the here and now. And that's the most important thing. And what a life it is, eh? Whether with your head in the clouds, or a knife at your throat, once eating ribs at Matslov's, another buried in one's breasts. Moment, stay a while, linger. But before long, you're running flat out. Someone, whap, nabs you by the coat. But here I am. Every time, I'm reborn like a fucking phoenix from the ashes. What is this bullshit about it, sir? Victor, Victor. What I've been through belongs to me. Now I'm the king. Tell me, what else is going on? Tell me something more about these Cossacks. They roam around different bars picking fights as soon as they get leave from the Citadel. Sometimes we pummel each other and things continue as usual. I've had a look around and something's caught my attention. I think they might have something to do with the Salutar. Well then, shoot! A bucket of dirty water and a blood-soaked rag. Whose blood is this? As if I remember everybody who's bled on the floor here. Every day we've got to clean up after somebody. Is that everything, or have you found anything else? Did anybody die from this bullet that got stuck in the post? Bullets fly every which way here. That's the atmosphere. Was someone killed? Probably, but that's not very unusual. Look how helpful I am. Keep going. Who smashed your window? How long it's been? Uh, two days, I think. This one Russian bigwig was really fucking irritating me, so I politely asked him to leave. What else can I help you with? Tell me. Uh, I'm at your service. You like to go wild here, huh? Are you often the one who gets the old crazy ball rolling? You know I used to have a puppy. This little fluff ball was hanging out under the bar. I have a heart, Victor. I have a big heart. Not like those morons over there. To Cossacks, a game without a corpse is no game at all. For me, knocking out teeth, breaking hands, I'll take it. A stiff spoils the mood a bit. That's my opinion. You get a lot of stiffs here then? Where my corpse here lieth down. Something, something looketh around. What do you call a lot? Three a month on average, I'd say. Danis, that Cossack with a dick where his head should be, pulled out his revolver one day and wanted to play Russian roulette. Only with his revolver. But fuck it. I'm not handing my head over so easily to a butcher like that. Well, then I'll ask you. Is he an idiot or what? I have to gather my thoughts. Go ahead, go ahead. I have to gather myself a little too. Lelek. What the hell did you say, Victor? You're out of your goddamn mind. The Salutor's name's Lelek. Well, yes, the beak, the feathers, the trill. He loves the smell of death and he enjoys risk and foolishness, which he also fuels. So let's go get Lelek. Yeah, come on. Where about it is, Lelek could be as well. Maybe his flaw is speaking for him. Whoever's with us is with us, and whoever's against us, fuck him. Come on, I'll show you places even the philosophers never dreamed of. Maybe your demon will be drinking vodka somewhere there too. Take a deep breath. That's the smell of Warsaw nightlife. Smell it, Victor. Relish it. A bouquet of sweat, shit, and puke. And piss, thanks. But it's war. Come on, you'll see the true face of Abauritsi Niedzic. And maybe 
You'll even find what you're looking for here. Welcome to my world. Meaning what? That they've got a guy tied up in the back here too, and they're about to threaten to drown him in the Vistula? I see the positive mood of the neighborhood has infected you. Wonderful. But you guessed wrong, friend. Here, well, magic happens here. Thought is transformed into word to penetrate the material and infuse the universe with death. All right, let's drink, shall we? A double barrel each, please. People come here to tickle their palates with exquisite libations. Let's do a milk of 83. You're not messing around. After years of begging and eating scraps off aristocratic tables, I'm not messing around. You come here to get some fresh air away from the underworld? I come here so I don't forget who I am. A poet. So what's actually been going on with you over the last 15 years? My father ended up behind bars, and as for me, the streets took me in, taught me life. I roamed around, got odd jobs, and when I was hard up, I went begging. I've got a tough skin on me, Victor, but the embers of poetry still smolder in my heart. Well, in time, I gained a new family, my shivs. We were supposed to go to high school together, maybe to university after that. Everything would have gone differently if only... We did the world a favor by fucking over that loan shark. One way or the other, Pop's debts would have landed me on the streets. If I hadn't told you about it, you wouldn't have hit on your brilliant idea. I'll sort him out with my salader, you kept saying. You were too unskilled at that magic business of yours, eh? My upper had only just come to me. I didn't know anything about being a thaumaturge. Yeah, and I'm sure you want to impress your daddy. I trusted my father to help us, but he only told me not to interfere. He swore he'd sort it out. All right, there's no need to waste your damn breath. He's gone, and we're here. You've always had a silver tongue. Don't I know it? 
Add to that a despicable past, and you've got all the ingredients for a poet. Now, why are we sitting here instead of at your bar? My lads, bless them. Set me up a poetry reading once, but they're simple folk. They don't understand this poesy. They laughed when they should have cried. Cried when their hearts should have flooded with anger. I don't hold it against them. My bar trades on its reputation as a dive. That's how you make the most money. What is your plan? Would you rather the name Nyejits make people talk about the king of the underworld? Or a great poet? The poetic king of the underworld. Anyway, they already say that. The Shivs think of me as a bard, and the competition says so too. And since I've got them all by short hairs, they respect me, even though they can't string two proper sentences together. I've got a gift, Victor. I can't complain about a lack of talent. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I think Lelek is attached to you. A demon following me around? Bullshit. There are a lot of indications. Your personality, the things you do, and stuff like that. I'd rather not have anyone sharing my head with me. Can you do something about it? There's only one way. I have to figure out your flaw, which means pushing you to the edge. But it's not going to be pleasant. Every day I balance on the edge. That doesn't scare me. Go ahead. I found your poem. Did you write it in your own blood or that of one of your victims? Victims? The hell are you talking about? Of course it was mine. I slice my veins open for art. That's how committed I am. More like desperate. No true poet needs to resort to gimmicks. He just needs ink and the world will hear him. Shit. One more word and I'll forget about our friendship. There's nothing to forget. Our friendship is just a figment of your sick imagination. Stab me in the heart. It'll hurt less. I warned you it wouldn't be nice. So you did, but, well, it still hurts to hear. Wait, is that all? What about that demon? Nothing. It actually looks as though it latched onto someone else. You are simply out of your mind. Well, of course I am. Not that I'm scared. Nothing frightens me. But some weight has actually lifted from my heart. So what? Should we continue our search? Oh, Victor, lad. How that we tickles me. Come on. Of course we're continuing. We have to find that little brat of yours. Give up, you piece of shit! Do you see what I see? I see two morons wrestling with a lamppost. How are you fellas doing? Who's winning? It's a colossus, looking down its nose. Arrogant piece of... I swear it called us sons of bitches. Well, that would piss anyone off. As I look at it and then at you, I've got to admit, the lamppost is right. 
That what? That you're a pair of sons of bitches, that's what. You're taking the enemy's side? Suit yourself. We're not giving in. is a productive night. The more brawling, the better. Please visit us again. Time to keep an eye out for Dennis. He was injured in the fight with the Colossus and got lost. I think. Maybe the Ataman ended up at the Lockstock. Where? The Lock, Stock, and Barrel. This Ruski bar up the stairs here. Competition. <laughs> The night's still young. There's excitement ahead. Let's follow them. Since I haven't yet found Lelek, that could be just where he is. <laughs> 